We are all so confused about food. Even I was confused about food for so long. I mean, should we be vegan and eat like a gorilla or paleo and eat like a caveman? Should we all be gluten-free? Should we eat coconut oil because it's so good for your brain or does it cause heart disease like the American Heart Association tells us? Should you drink three glasses of milk a day like our government tells us to do or should we avoid all dairy because it causes autoimmune disease and acne? It's no wonder we're confused with all this conflicting advice about nutrition, not to mention the fact that we have more options than ever before and yet we're sicker and fatter than ever. The problem is confused scientists, food lobbying, unrestricted food marketing, and even our own government has made it nearly impossible to know what to eat. All of this is enough to make us say, the heck with it. Well, I'm here to tell you that you're not alone, that so many of us are confused, but that the good news is that there is a way out of this confusion. There is a roadmap that will guide you toward your best health. Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Hyman. I'm a father, practicing physician, a 10 times New York Times bestselling author, and I'm the director of the Cleveland Clinic Center for Functional Medicine. And I believe that food is medicine, that what you eat is the single most important thing you do every single day to affect the health of your body and your mind. Eating the right food is the key to having more energy, a clear mind, and creating and maintaining a healthy weight. Food isn't just like medicine, it is medicine, and it works faster, better, and is cheaper than any drug out there. With my new book, Food, What the Heck Should I Eat? I took a big step back and I asked myself, in the context of a confused consumer, a confused government, and even confused scientists, what is the state of nutrition science today? In other words, I try to answer the question, what the heck should I eat? This book provides an explanation of nutrition science. It also covers the political, environmental, and economic and social issues around food. And then it dives deep into food as we eat it and the questions surrounding food. What about meat? What kind of meat should we eat? Poultry and eggs. What about dairy, fish and seafood, veggies and fruits and fats and oils, beans, grains, nuts and seeds, sugar and sweeteners, beverages, all these things we go deep into. And we provide a guide on how to make the best food choices for real food in each category. Think of it as a balanced, inclusive eater's guide to the world as we know it in 2018. If you're like me, you're probably wondering, where did we go wrong? How did we stray so far from real food and get to the point where most people are accustomed to box meals loaded with 20 unidentifiable ingredients? And why are lifestyle diseases, things like heart disease and diabetes, the leading cause of death in this country? This is exactly why we need answers that don't lead us astray from real food, food that can help us heal. Now, a hundred years ago, we didn't need a label to tell us our food was local, organic, and grass-fed. All food was automatically created that way. Fortunately, there's a strong desire among so many of us conscious consumers to get back to a way of life and eating that can heal our conflicted relationships with food. We live in an exciting and complex time. With every purchase of food, we have an opportunity to vote for a healthier planet, and with every bite, we have the opportunity to nourish our bodies and heal. This book is set up to help you understand each aspect of our food from its effect on our biology, to its effect on our environment, and its effect on animals and those who produce our foods. I don't want you to be confused about food anymore. I want you to have the confidence to know what to eat to create health and avoid disease. So be sure to look out for food, What the Heck Should I Eat?, which comes out in February of 2018. And I know that together we can bring calm to the chaos of nutrition and food confusion out there. Together we can take back our health, starting with food.